When I was growing up, our family used to do massive drives to Sydney and Canberra um, to visit other family during the holidays. These 10 hour long drives would have a lot of radio use. As we drove between towns, the radio frequencies and stations would change. There was a dial in the car that we had to tune to lock in a radio station. Throughout the drive, there were different stations from small country town news in some parts to the big city mainstream music stations. Just like our experience with the radio on this journey, God can be speaking in many different ways at, at any time. His spirit is like the radio frequencies running through the air. Often we can go about our days not even realizing that God might be wanting to speak with us. So we need to learn to tune in, to listen and respond. God can speak through many countless ways from the Bible, nature, dreams, and even donkeys. I mean, if you don't believe me, check out Numbers 22. It's an absolute cracker of a story. He can speak through anything he wants and he wants, and he wants to communicate with you and me personally. Now, before we look at practical examples of how God speaks, we need to understand his mission and command to us as humans first. I wanna take you guys to the Great Commission, which is found in Matthew 28. And it says, then Jesus came to them. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you to the end of the, of the age. From the above, we know God is with us till the end of the age. Just think about that for a second. And I want to teach you guys a concept I've called the 24 seven spirit of God that has changed my life. God is always online, always accessible, and we can tune into his Holy Spirit at any time. Have you ever found yourself talking to yourself, like in your head, asking yourself, you know, what should I eat for dinner tonight? Should I eat KFC or Macca's? Or should I say hi to that cute guy or, guy or girl? As we accept Jesus into our hearts, the process of sanctification begins and we become transformed by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. Now realizing this, I began to talk to God all the time in my head as I would normally do to myself normally. This was a lot more beneficial compared to talking to myself as pointed out in Jeremiah 17 verse nine, where it says the human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who knows really how bad it is. Over time, I began discerning the difference between my earthly self and my spiritual self. And as an action today, I want you to do something extremely simple. Whether you're reading the Bible, going out for a walk in nature, or with family eating dinner, wherever you are, ask God, what are you saying to me in this moment? Write it down, test it against his word, and here are three points that will help. Number one, God can speak to us absolutely anytime. But so often we can miss his voice when we aren't aware of his presence or aren't tuning in to listen. So let's begin to invite him into our everyday. Ask him to speak to us daily. Number two, remember the more you learn to hear God's voice and cultivate your relationship with him, the easier it is to actually discern when he's speaking. So be ready to respond not only to the loud prompts, but also through his soft voice as well. And number three, Test what you feel God is saying against his word and discern it to make sure it is his voice you're hearing. Remember that the Great Commission teaches us that God doesn't only just desire to speak with you, but also that he would speak through you to others as well. Keep trying this with small and large things in your life. God is always present and he wants to communicate with you, sometimes in silence, sometimes in shouts and sometimes from an absolutely still, soft voice within. As we learn to tune into what the 24-7 Spirit is saying, I'm believing you will find God downloading new insights, new ideas, new dreams, new visions, new plans, new people to love and new ways to love them, which will, will guide you in your daily walk with God. This concept has changed my life and I found God speaking to me when I'm outside riding my bike or in the shower, he's simply everywhere. Perhaps if you're struggling to hear the voice of God, I encourage you to start with scripture because we know this is where he speaks to. But perhaps today God is wanting to speak in an absolutely new way. He is a limitless God and I challenge you this week to listen for his voice in places we might not expect. Perhaps through art, through nature, through dreams, a movie, a poem, a parent, a friend, or even your conscience within.
God's Spirit is speaking, let's choose to tune into His voice today. We can do literally nothing at all without His Spirit, but by His Spirit we can live an eternally advantaged life here on earth.